Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. I'm so glad you're here. After such an eventful week last week, it is so nice to be moving forward instead of repairing, moving forward in life, moving towards the things I'm excited for. What are we doing today? Batteries and electrical. Yay! My baby's getting power! What does this stuff do? This is just to um, keep it from corroding. We're getting somewhere quickly. Like, it took so long to get to this point, and then everything sort of just went BAM! Alright, now let's turn the fan on. Oh my gosh, I did the rookiest mistake. I made Fossey cry. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. I wanted to introduce you to today's special guest, one of my Patreons, Grant. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no problem. What are we doing today? Batteries and electrical. Yay! I have been putting this job off for so long. I bought all of the bits and pieces last year to get sorted and then just suddenly felt super overwhelmed. There is so much to do with electrical that is really complicated and simple at the same time. You can, for, <laughs> it can get messed up really easily, things can go wrong, and there are ways of doing setups that are really simple. So I'm excited to bring you along for the journey that we're gonna do together. We're gonna put 400 amp hours of lithium batteries in the step van and wire up some 12 volt and some 120 circuits. And I'm really excited! Yay! Yay. The best thing about having folks come to visit or having community for me is sharing food. I love cooking, especially outdoors, and the joy and connection that comes with laughing and sharing stories around a warm bowl of food in front of a fire is just second to none. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we should draw a diagram of what we're planning to do. I'll draw version one and then we can. Oh, yeah, there'll be. Yeah, version two. There'll be, this will be the mock up. Okay, great. Is that a cat? That's a cat. Oh, my Hi, God. Hi, Punky. Punky wants to help. There's going to be two solar inputs. We have the same setup in our van and we put our panels under the bed, too. That's so yeah. good. <laughs> solar, solar portable. We're going to have a future cable just to run to DC to DC. So when I'm ready to do that. Have I missed anything? Oh, and then we're gonna have the 120. Shore power, but shore power comes into inverter. Yep. So pumped. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be set up so that I can use my portable solar panel immediately. The shore power will be mouse proof and not coming out the back doors like it is currently. Mm -hmm. And I'll be able to set up for installing DC to DC yeah. charging sooner yeah. than I will be able to get the solar on the roof. That looks so good and so simple. It looks simple, right? It's so simple. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna show you. Ground, inverter, ground, 120 outputs. We're gonna limit it so it doesn't overload. Solar input one, solar input two, DC to DC input. The only thing that's not on here yet is the shore, shore power input, which will also probably come to here. This is my 120 outs with fan pump lights. Big switches here, big switches here to turn it off for safety. I have been waiting so long for this, waiting, and how it will change my life and the access and mobility this system is going to give me. For, oh no, look, I have some inline fuses. Ha! Yeah, I thought it was there, yeah. Sweet, this extra wire plus all of the wire that is still on the batteries. Time to unbox the batteries. Time to unbox the batteries. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Look at that beast. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and they've got handles too. <laughs> I'm learning a lot and I just learned about the potential for overcharging your batteries. If I had shore power, I was turned the engine on, say to warm it up before driving, and the sun was out, 
and the solar panels were charging, you could actually overcharge your batteries and damage them. We're looking at this. I'm doing some math. I mean, you're doing the math. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, here's the parameters we'll have to put into the charger. I have been, with the help and generosity of lots of other van dwelling friends, collecting electrical components, fuses, wires, switches, and connections in preparation for this very day! Battery installation day. Yeah! History. Many years ago, in my old van, Mystery, I had purchased four 12 volt golf cart batteries as my very first low budget introduction to electricity. All right, so what are we doing first? Unplugging shore right, power. Yeah, we'll unplug the shore power. Which should turn that off. Yeah, let's get now some what? wrenches. Oh yes, because we've got to disconnect all of this without electrocuting ourselves. Yeah. Especially my check, sketchy ground. I wanted to check the voltage drop across that. Unfortunately, part. as I'm sure most of you know, the usable power in a lead acid battery isn't all that much and if overused, not quite charged properly or run low, they die and they die very, very quickly. Yeah, it'll be nice to get rid of that. Oh, it's so sketchy. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Thank you for doing the hard lifting. No problem. I feel good knowing that I can do it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I wanna. <laughs> Thank you for doing the hard lifting. No problem. I feel good knowing that I can do it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I wanna. <laughs> heavy. learning and I'm gonna flip the box around oh yeah a little bit just enough that they don't fall over mm-hmm I should have freaking thought of a ratchet strap when I did it. I used rope and it was a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for the think, other one. Thinking it was the other one. <laughs> yeah, so my I thought is that they go in there. Because then it leaves this space here to put like my kayak in, this space here for boxes. The inverter is going where again? On this wall on the yes, outside? Yes, the wall that doesn't exist okay. yet. Which is good because then it'll have lots of airflow. It won't be in like a little cubby. Yep. So then we'll put the batteries in with the connectors on this side. Yep. So, up against that wall, I guess. Yes. Oh, my baby's getting power. Because yeah. we can still access this really nicely. Yeah. And then we'll get the piece of plywood. We should measure the piece of plywood, cut it out, mm -hmm. but then we can assemble. Yeah. And put that in and later. Put it up. Turn it on. Press the V for volt button. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so you're on volts. Thirteen point one seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's. What does this stuff do? This is just to um, keep it from corroding, make a better connection. It's called dielectric. So it's a conductive gel. Um, it's actually non-conductive, but oh. it. Uh, it makes a better connection. Huh. Okay. While I still need to get me a Ford code reader for my engine, so I can check and keep a close eye on my engine check engine light, making sure that the things in the engine are completely solid, like having a really good ground, is really important and really important to me to help take care of my engine as a whole. It's very, very important. Making sure you have a good ground is important to any electrical build. Case in point of how not to do it. And this wire 
it's gonna need upgrading. So what are we doing? Putting a new ground onto yeah, the battery? Yeah, we're gonna put a new lug. This one probably just pulled right out. Tightening that. There's the old one there. Whoa. <laughs> And we'll change this another day when we have more time. Great. Okay, now touch these two together just to make sure it's working. Okay, yep. Yeah. So that was zero. So now if you um, connect one to the negative terminal and now touch somewhere on the aluminum chassis. Okay, so it's almost zero. So that's that's good. Yeah, so that's that's good. There's a good connection there now. I'm really excited about all the ways of charging my batteries. I'll have once all is said and done with my battery install and electrical system. Oh, Portable solar, rooftop solar. Next up, DC to DC charging of my alternator. And I have shore power currently. Nice. Oh, that's so good. This inverter has to move over. Right? Yes. That's the biggest one. Why don't we do that first? Inverter and then solar charge controller. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold it for a second. I, yeah. yes. Woo! Awesome. My precious. The story with this plug is last time I tried to plug the shore power into here, it tripped the breaker at the house. This is the only variable in my circuit because when I plug it straight into the inverter, it works. So we're gonna check for corrosion inside here. <laughs> See, look, no silicon. No silicon. No yeah. silicon. Yeah. It's like basically a sieve leaking into my house. So now connect one on this, one on that. Should be infinite. Now connect. How do you tell what's infinite? What does that mean? Uh, overload. Yeah, what it says there, okay. that's good. Zero. Perfect. Okay. So that... So this that, is nothing wrong with no, this. Thing. Wrong with that, yeah. Oh, that, that's really relieving to know. Yeah. The one thing I forgot to seal. The, the side that you're on is the side that the plugs are on. <laughs> I know. It's going to be good. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine doing this by myself. Like, it's a two-person job yeah. the whole way. Oh, yeah. But parallel to here so that I have something to screw into. Because I have a 2000 watt inverted charger, I also have the ability to run two 120 volt circuits down each of the two sides of the wall of the van. So, so, so happy. It's very exciting with the amount of computer work and cooking appliances I'm excited to run. Okay, that's tight. We're getting somewhere quickly, like it took so long to get to this point and then everything sort of just went BAM! Pretty sunshine. Oh, it's so pretty. So, I am going to drill a hole for this guy. So I can plug in a portable solar panel. Right. Wish me luck. I am not excited about this. Okay, so let's get a drill bit and push the insulation around. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Dicey, dicey hole drilling. We did it! We did it! No, I, was, I didn't film! <laughs> Stop! Amazing! You know what I should do is pull it out a little bit and clean all the rust out of these holes. Yep, here I'll give you some. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, this is going to look so nice. A little bit more. Yep, you can pull a bit. Perfect, that's enough. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I'm no so problem. thrilled. This. <laughs> Perfect, now we can drill the rest of the holes. Cool.
Good morning. It is day two of, it is day two of electrical work. I am currently in the dinette taking this plug, which is now daisy chained. I just drilled this hole and shoved it through into this secret cubby. Wouldn't even know it's there, secret cubby. Um, so I can wire this up to this. Um, up until now, I've had an extension cord running across my house, coming out of random holes and tripping over it. I cannot tell you how much I am looking forward to not having a power cord running through my house, to just plugging in something into an outlet and it working. <sighs> going to be so good and to have 400 amp hours of battery like that's a ton it's amazing fuse in the solar, we've got the fuse in the other solar, we've got the fuse block, we've got two switches, and we've got our non-existent bus bars, which we will get in soon. I think that was all. Yeah. Right. And the fuse on the battery. Fuse and batteries. Everything is as it should be. If everything doesn't smoke, then... <laughs> then only turn on if I press this button and then we put the settings in here mm -hmm. <laughs> 13.1 that one I think should we do the settings for this first sure and then we test the 12 volt system because it will make, require me running in and out okay. and yeah Hey, I guess we get the heat. Alright, where's the manual? It works! <laughs> ah, <I'm> <laughs> okay! <laughs> Alright, yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Oh. Made Fossey cry. <laughs> Happy cry, don't worry. Now Grant's gonna cry. <laughs> Did you bump your head? <laughs>
I don't think I truly realized how much tension I was holding waiting for the step to happen and how much I was worried about it and the stress of life expectations and work expectations and all that I needed to do that depended on electricity. I cannot describe the feelings of being able to release some of that and feel the gratitude to finally be moving towards mobility, self-sufficiency, more effective storytelling for you guys, and the adventures that I'm so dreaming of. Oh, hot and sweaty. Okay, next job is to, we've tested the portable solar panel that works. Next job is to go through all of the 12 volt circuits in here and test them all, make sure it works. I think the first one I want to do is the fan. The fan is not working. <laughs> There's a switch when you turn it on. Do you want me to turn it on? Or do you want I want to turn it on. Turn the switch on first. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <sighs> if it goes bang. All right, now let's turn the fan on. Oh my gosh, I did the rookiest mistake. We do not have power. Wow, that will that will do that. Oh, we need to put a fuse in here. <laughs> okay, how many fuse was like? What kind we of? We need a twenty amp for this one. Okay, I don't have the. Oh, is this kind this kind of fuse? Yeah, yellow one. Okay, we've got fuses. He was waving to us. They were right. really nice though. Let's see if this fixes everything. Can you hold it. That's so funny. First, we didn't turn it on. We didn't put a fuse in. Is there a oh, specific? You might want to turn it off if there's a fuse in. Turn what off? The switch. Oh yes. Rookie mistake number three. Just a couple of sparks. Couple of sparks. No. Is there a specific way around it goes, or am I? No. All right, let's try this again. Great. Bet it works now. Yeah, let's go try things. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All righty, I would like some cool air. Oh. Yes. <laughs> thank you so you're much you're you so, so welcome much for coming. oh you're welcome thank you for having us it's been so fun <laughs> and honestly i hope you really know that you've changed my life awesome <laughs> no crying no. <laughs> or cry go ahead <laughs> thank you Installing the two negative and positive bus bars in the system was the final part of getting the system safe since I didn't have them when we were doing the installs earlier. I had ordered them and now I'm excited to have this system set up and be moving towards the next step of getting the DC to DC charging of my batteries as I drive. I'm gonna put these in today. Um, I couldn't find these. The other day but I'm gonna have to cut them really carefully because I've got to get the cases to protect this and the positive bus bar is dangerous so I'm gonna cut the plastic so I can keep it 12 volt off. off okay system is now disarmed this is still on because I've kind of connected to shore power so now I need to unplug that Everything is completely off. Oh, this is the other solar panel. The other solar panel. The negative is done. So we have solar. 12 volt bus bar, battery, inverter. Grounded. All right. 
This is going to be for the 12 volt bus bar. As you can see, we've wrapped it up in this heavy duty insulation thing while I haven't had the bus bar. Now I've got to take it all apart. I feel safe working on this because before the batteries, I have this. So this is connected to the battery, but none of this is live because I have this off. So I can touch this, I can bump a spanner between the two and I'm not gonna get electrocuted. I need to modify so that I can cover them up. Looking good in here. Next up, zip tie some stuff. Keep it all nice and clean and tidy. Well, welcome to this beautiful, clean, tidy garage space. I'm very happy with it. Let's turn it all back on. Cross fingers and nothing blows up and then we'll be done until I get a roof rack to mount my solar panels. That is the next stage. Fridge is turned on. Looks like everything's working. Turn the top off. I hope you enjoyed this video of my electrical system. I really enjoyed putting it together. I'm so grateful to have had the help from dear friends who, patrons who've become now dear friends. And I'm so happy I have power and it's all safe and it's all set up right. Oh, and now I can put all my stuff back in my garage. See you next week, bye. I am so incredibly grateful to the folks who have supported me in getting this far in my journey with my van, my van build and everything in between from Patreon to PayPal to coffee and those who have even come and visited me and helped and been willing to share hours and hours of their time to help me learn, support this journey and the participants in story sharing and knowledge sharing with you all. And a huge thank you again to Grant, Stevie and Cece. I love you all and I'll see you on the next adventure video next week.